What's up, Lujitsu here. I'm over here at Bolsa Chica with a message about jujitsu. What was I just thinking right now? Uh, I'm really happy to be training. Uh, you guys know 20 months, I wasn't on the mats. Um, I got my blue belt 2017. Uh, I talked to my professor yesterday. I told him, hey, you know, I'm not looking for a belt promotion. I'm looking for skills. I don't care the belt is irrelevant to me. Um, regardless, I barely know how to spell sentences in jujitsu. Maybe even words, you know, barely putting words together. Uh, man, I had a message. I had a message. Man, I'm just having a great time. Uh, oh, I remember. So jujitsu to me is very therapeutic and I know we're getting smashed on. But every time I, I don't, I mean, in there, I, just being inside a room with mats and people trying to get their skills better, um, the jujitsu is very therapeutic for me, you know. Um, I have a great time just rolling around. Uh, I don't go for submissions. Uh, but I will next year, you know. Uh, it's still August 4th today, 2020. No submissions for six months. I got one month down, no submissions, had a lot of fun. And um, I just see what people, what people, what, what they bring, you know? Everyone has a different level. Um, some people are very, uh, very, um, well, some people are a little rougher. But even me training with those rougher people, um, you know, once, I mean, think about it. I, I'm not really, I'm just seeing what your submissions are. Um, and it's cool, you know, I'm gonna use them later. Talking to everyone, tapping me out all rough when you can feel that I'm just going about 20%, you feels 30% like Kamar Usman. So my jujitsu is super suave. That's how I want it. It's so smooth, super suave. Us super smooth uh, I just want to keep getting smoother and and I started noticing that people open their guard because they're so used to playing the open guard uh, that's cool um, I look for opportunities instead of really trying to smash out of something uh, so as soon as someone attacks that's when I start really use, um, wedging into a wedging their attacks which gives me that second to counter or break hips or you know uh, do something technical to get out of a position that i'm in uh, i do value being technical because uh if i don't know a move for it um i i just keep moving around you know i just keep without hurting anyone i don't think I, I my goal is to never hurt anyone and i think everyone that trains with me can can be like yo luis is smooth you know or maybe not maybe people are like screw this so this was sucks if it doesn't even know how to bear them balls whatever hey but they love a little me they love a little me you know it's hard not to love a little me because i am you know, I'm so, so passionate about jiu-jitsu and I'm, I'm a blue belt for since 2017, just year after year being, a you know, just not really caring. And, um, you know, at one point I did care, you know, oh, look at my purple belt. And then I got her, oh, I was on track to get my purple. Oh, so what? Would my skills and mental uh, capacity be at this point if I continued going? I don't think so. I, I think I still would have been using every smash pass attack that I know. Um, I love losing a position and getting swept and moving along with the sweep. You guys, I'm not stiff. I'm moving along when I'm getting swept into better positions sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Um, learning how I end up in scrambles, outcomes, what is available. Uh, 
what what can I clench on to? So my jujitsu is evolving one day at a time. I go uh, two, three times a week. Super chill. I don't, man, you can match me up with, with high or low level. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna get smashed the same way because I'm terrible. Terrible blue blue belt, uh, but I'd rather be the worst jujitsu practitioner and be on the mats rolling around and losing every absolutely every round every match every clap hands with everybody than not than not be on there uh experiencing those uh personal lessons because they're all personal they're all every 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 grip is personal to me every sweep is personal you know and i i cherish every moment because being 20 months off the mat really allowed me to see that it, I was wasting a lot of time um, not being as technical as, as I would like to be in jiu-jitsu so uh, there's tons of technical people out there um, the professor I train with Professor Gustavo Carpio man he is so technical he's a small, small guy 5'9 maybe 150 pounds maybe um lean and man crazy grip knows you can ask him anything and he'll come up with an answer a proper answer not just some random answer or, or call you out on your question he'll think of a logical technical situation to get out of the question you've asked him and um and it's privileged training under him and I want to be a great teacher like he is in the future. You know, I'm just a blue belt, but I, I'm still there helping out whoever wants it, whoever needs it. And um, I don't know much, but the little grips that I do understand, uh, you know, uh, I'm always down to to share it. Oh, so jujitsu, you guys, I, I used to invite a bunch of people and, um, you know, no one ever came. Two people did go, two people did go train. Uh, so beside that, I'm done asking or, attempting to to uh, extend my hand for people to come learn jiu-jitsu and see a little bit what I do so I'm done to all my my friends I love you guys but uh you know I did my best for years even not having a knee I would still ask you guys to seek jiu-jitsu to get a little better and uh, learn more about yourselves you know because a lot of us my friends and and me and myself you know I don't know how high my ego was and uh, this injury and going back to jiu-jitsu has really uh, helped my ego just delete, delete, delete. It's gone. Um, and when I do feel my ego like, oh, I'm going to smash this. Nope. I just allow getting swept and go on with the movement. Sometimes I end up in a better position. And, uh, you know, during a scramble, if someone has a, a clinch on you and you're scrambling, keep scrambling and bring your limbs in you know that's what i do and and it, it kind of works uh with the right people of course you're going to be sometimes training with some really technical people they're expecting everything they've been through those scrambles they're more technical than you and uh a lot of people are are, are beast you know and i'm not um so i just rely on my small technicalities that i know all right going on nine minutes uh whoa so uh vanessa if you watch this i love you uh, that's my wife. Peace out. Nine minutes. Don't get choked out.